the bright lights of the big city are about to come back on. This is going to be the summer of New York City. We're all going to get to enjoy this city again, and people are going to flock here from all over the country to be a part of this amazing moment in New York City. The Big Apple's coming back. The shopping, the nightclubs, the museums, and the parks. We are in for one of the biggest recoveries ever, and I truly believe that hospitality, the way we make people feel in this city, is what's going to lead the way. It's an uphill climb. Tourism plummeted in 2020 by two-thirds, an even steeper drop in foreign visitors. Now the city's spending $30 million on a marketing campaign to remind visitors about all New York has to offer. And it offers the nation more than a vacation destination. Its contribution to U.S. gross domestic product greater than any other city. Wall Street, the financial capital, and reopening fully means more people back at work. It marks a milestone in the recovery from coronavirus. After all, this time last year, New York was the hardest hit city in the nation. Times Square empty, hospitals and morgues full to overflowing. <laughs> and panic over the pandemic spreading beyond New York's borders. Now, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo says full reopening may happen even sooner than July 1st. I am so excited. I don't have words to say it enough. I am so excited that we'll be able to come back strong. One note, the U.S. still has significant travel restrictions on foreign visitors. You know, long quarantines tend to get in the way of tourism. So that's a challenge for New York City. And Broadway's goal is to reopen by September, which means those who book for the summer likely won't get to see a big show, yeah. Shep. Contessa, all the hope about opening up soon is so excited, and yet... The mayor and the governor are still at this crazy feud. Yeah, I mean, here you have the governor and the mayor ostensibly on the same side, same goals. But listen to how the governor responded to the mayor's target reopening date of July 1st. I am reluctant to make projections because I think they're irresponsible. Uh, July 1. You have May, you have June. You know, what happens in May, what happens in June? Uh, I would like to get the reopening, hopeful, hopeful reopening date before that. And he followed that up with the suggestion that, hey, why don't you go ask New Yorkers for their opinion of the mayor? The New York Post reports this afternoon, it asked the mayor's press secretary for a response to the governor. And he answered, and I'm quoting here, serial sexual assaulter says what? The governor, governor of course, is under investigation by his own attorney general for multiple accusations, but Cuomo denies he's ever sexually assaulted anyone. The tabloids deep in this one. Contessa, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.